Welcome to the History of Marvel. Today's episode is Earth 616. A degree of paranoid fear against mutants exists due to stories of mutants being a race or even a species, Homo superior or Homo sapiens superior, that is evolving and is meant to replace normal humans. This has caused organizations to form to deal with the problem, who can be divided into three camps, those who seek peaceful coexistence between mutants and normal humans, the X-Men and their affiliated groups, those who seek to control or eliminate humans to give mutants safety of dominance, Magneto and his followers, as well as other mutants such as Apocalypse, and those who seek to regulate or eliminate mutants in favor of humans. The latter often use the robots known as Sentinels as weapons. Most of the superhumans owe their powers to the Celestials, cosmic entities who visited Earth one million years ago and experimented on our prehistoric ancestors, a process they also carried out on several other planets. This resulted in the creation of two hidden races, the godlike Eternals and the genetically unstable Deviants, in addition to giving some humans an X gene in their genes, which sometimes activates naturally, resulting in sometimes superpowered, sometimes disfigured individuals called mutants. Others require catalysts, such as radiation, to cause their powers to manifest. With the exception of psychic abilities, these powers are usually random. Rarely do two people have the exact same set of powers. It is not clear why the Celestials did this, although it is known they continue to observe humans' evolution. The majority of the public is usually unaware of what may cause superhuman powers. Other origins for superhuman powers include magic, genetic manipulation, or bionic implants. Some heroes and villains have no powers at all, but depend instead on hand-to-hand -hand combat training or advanced technological equipment. Technology is slightly more advanced than in our world. This is due to unique individuals of genius intelligence, such as Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four, Tony Stark, the Invincible Iron Man, Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk, and Doctor Doom. However, most of the really advanced devices, such as powered armor and death rays, are too expensive for the common citizen and are usually in the hands of government organizations like S.H.I.E.L.D. or powerful criminal organizations like the MAGI, AIM, and HYDRA. One major company produces these devices is Stark International, owned by Tony Stark. But there are others. Advanced technology has also been given to humans by hidden races, aliens, or time travelers like Kang the Conqueror, who is known to have influenced the robotics industry in the past. The battery effect. The cells in the body have the same function as batteries, being charged with energy that comes from an outer source. This is most often seen in gamma-exposed individuals such as the Hulk, who get their powers from this stored energy. The powers will remain as long as the energy is present and can even be increased by filling the batteries more often. If the energy is emptied, the powers will fade away. Power primordial is a leftover force from the Big Bang and is controlled by the elders of the universe. Psychic energy, which is assumed to be an invisible, unknown form of energy generated by all living brains, which has the ability to manipulate other forms of matter and energy. Universal psychic field is a force present everywhere in the universe but only those with abilities to connect to it can make use of its energy. Enigma Force is suspected to be connected to the Microverse and also the source of the Unipower, which transforms an individual into Captain Universe. Extra Dimensional Space Dimensions which can be tapped in order to pull mass from them to add to objects on Earth or take away from these objects and be stored in these pocket dimensions to be retrieved later. This is how characters like the Hulk can grow and shrink with no visible absorption of mass. A type of subatomic particles called PIM particles can be used for this effect. Note that many giant-sized characters have the secret ability to manipulate gravity to handle their increased weight. The change in mass can be in the form of a density change instead, allowing a character to become harder or incorporeal. Some characters can seem to transform themselves or others into non-living substances or even pure energy by storing their bodies in extra-dimensional space and replacing them with bodies made from matter or energy from that dimension. While their souls remain on Earth controlling their new body, travel into other dimensions can also be used as a way to teleport by exiting the Earth dimension and re-entering at a different point. The Dark Force is an unknown dark substance from another dimension, known simply as the Dark Force Dimension, which can be summoned and manipulated in many ways to create impenetrable darkness. 
to solidify in various forms and most notably to absorb life energy from living beings. Not all users can use all these effects. The dark forest can also be used to travel to and from its home dimension, but this is dangerous to all except those with a dark force power. Some believe that the dark force is sentient and sometimes has evil influence on those who use it. Various heroes and villains have versions of dark force powers, including Dark Star, the first blackout, the shroud, cloak, and quagmire of the Squadron Supreme Universe. Cloak seems to be the prime portal to the dark force, however. The living light is the opposite of the dark force, a form of energy which resembles light and also comes from its own dimension, but has healing effects on living beings, except ones made of darkness or dark force. It is unknown if it might be sentient. Cloak's partner, Dagger, seems to be the living light's main avatar. The power cosmic is a force which can alter reality, allowing the user to do whatever he or she wants, including breaking the laws of physics, only being limited by how much cosmic energy the character can harness at one time. It seems to be part of the universe itself and can be linked directly to Galacticus as its primary wielder or even source. The heralds of Galacticus, including Silver Surfer and Nova, are imbued with the power cosmic. Magic also appears to be like a form of energy, except that it can defy the laws of physics naturally. However, it does have rules of its own to follow, which vary with the method of invocation, usually in the form of spoken spells. It appears to be present in everything, even living beings. All humans in the Marvel Universe have the ability to use magic, but only if properly trained. Most people are unaware that magic actually works. In addition, powerful magical beings from other dimensions have created specific, extremely powerful magic spells that they allow to be used, often indiscriminately, by those sorcerers who invoke their names. One example is the trinity of beings called the Vishanti, who serve as patrons to heroic sorcerers. At any given time, there is a sorcerer on Earth whose task is to protect the universe against extra-dimensional mythical invaders. This sorcerer is known as the Sorcerer Supreme, an office formerly held by Doctor Strange and later held by Doctor Voodoo. Hellfire is a magical force which resembles fire, but is cold and hurts the soul rather than the physical body. It is used mostly by demonic beings. In addition to mutants, eternal and deviants, several other intelligent races have existed secretly on Earth. These include the Inhumans, another genetically unstable race, like the deviants, but in their case it is due to the use of a substance called Tragen, which was created by a Cree experiment long ago. The Subterraneans, a race of humanoids adapted to living below the surface created by the deviants, some Subterraneans were transformed into lava men by a demon, and Homo mermanus, a humanoid race of water breathers that lives in Earth's oceans. Most of these races have advanced technology but existed hidden from humanity until recent times. Most variants of humanity can be found in the Savage Land. There are thousands of intelligent alien races in known space. Earth has interacted with many of them due to the fact that a major hyperspace warp happens to exist in our solar system. The three major space empires are the Kree, who rule the Kree Galaxy, also known as the Large Agilinic Cloud. The Skrulls, who rule the Skrull Galaxy, also known as the Andromeda Galaxy. And the Shi'ar, who rule the Shi'ar Galaxy. The three are often in direct or indirect conflict, who occasionally involve Earth people. In particular, the Kree and Skrulls are ancient enemies, and the Kree Skull War has involved humans on several occasions. Other interstellar powers include the Brood, the Flanix, the Badoon, the Annihilation Wave, the Trojans, and the Charter Federation. Another prominent alien race is the Watchers, immortal and wise beings who watch over the Marvel Universe and have taken a sacred vow not to intervene in events. Though the Watchers assigned to Earth, Watu has violated his oath on several occasions. The Elders of the Universe are ancient aliens, each the last of their own species, who has often had great impact on many worlds for billions of years acting alone or as a group. The major interstellar powers have formed an intergalactic council to have their say on matters that affect them all, such as interference from Earth humans in their affairs, whose memberships include hundreds of thousands of alien worlds. Also abundant are legendary creatures such as gods, demons, and vampires. 
The gods of most polytheistic pantheons are actually powerful, immortal, human-like races from other dimensions who visited Earth in ancient times and became the basis of many legends. Besides mythological gods, many deities made up by Marvel writers exist as well, such as the Dark Gods, enemies of the Asgardians. Demons are evil magical beings who take affairs in the matter of the universe, one of the most notorious being Mephisto. Others include Nightmare, Despair, Nastran, Dormammu, and Shuma Gorath. Most of the current generation of gods have been revealed to be the descendants of the other goddess Gao. The two most prominent pantheons are the Asgardians, of whom Thor is a member, and the Olympians, of whom Hercules is a member. The lords of the various pantheons sometimes gather in groups known as the Council of Godheads or the Council of Sky Fathers. The gods were forced to stop meddling with humanity, at least openly, a thousand years ago by the Celestials, and most people today believe them to be fictional. Above all other beings in the universe are the cosmic entities, beings of unbelievably great levels of power, the weakest can destroy planets who exist to perform duties that maintain the existence of the universe. Most do not care at all about lesser beings, such as humans, and as a consequence, their acts can occasionally be dangerous to mortals. Several dimensions coexist simultaneously without affecting each other directly, ranging from the Earth-like to the totally alien. Some are magical in nature and others are scientific. Some are inhabited and some others are not. These include realities like the Microverse, Dark Force, Dimension, and the Mojoverse, and many more. Another noteworthy feature of this universe is that time branches out, creating new alternate realities when certain important events happen. These abilities can also spawn realities of their own. There exist hundreds, probably thousands, or even millions of such reality. It is unknown why this happens, though a warp known as the nexus of all realities exists in a swamp in Florida. For the most part, this does not matter, as most beings are unaware that this occurs, or even that their universe was recently born from another. However, organizations exist which try to monitor or manipulate the various realities. These include the Captain Britain Corps, the Time Variance Authority, and Kang the Conqueror's Force. Certain places, some of which exist in real life and some of which are fictional, feature prominently in the Marvel Universe. Most of the action of Marvel Comics takes place in New York City. It is the home of the Avengers, Fantastic Four, and the Defenders, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and the Punisher, Knight, and others. New York City is the site of many places important to superheroes, notably the Avengers Mansion, Stark Tower, the Baxter Building, and Four Freedoms Plaza, Hell's Kitchen, and The Raft. The Sanctum Sectorium, Midtown High School, Harlem, Queens, etc. Some items have been created specifically for the Marvel Universe and carry immense powers, among them Adamantium, the Book of the Vishanti, the Cosmic Cube, the Eye of Agamotto, the Infinity Gauntlet, the Mandarin's Ten Rings, Thor's Hammer Mjolnir, and the M. Kron Crystal, the Quantum Bands, the Serpent Crown, the Siege Perilous, the Ultimate Nullifier, Unstable Molecules, and Vibranium. Thank you for watching and special thanks to the Marvel Database for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can, if you have. Thank you and have a nice day.